hey guys what is up welcome back to another video all right guys so in today's video we're gonna take down boss john constantine uh, again but this time from my main account and this is heroic six by the way uh but we still have a couple of sub bosses left so let's take them down first so it's 741 million uh to take down over here and uh, i'm going with king raven and uh, dr fate there is cloaked modifier over here so let's see how this works out right so going pretty good so far it's just the beginning there we go Now I think that they should really increase that uh, timer for gemstone. I mean, it's it's a little slow in the beginning for the first three stacks, but then it just gets done within a matter of five, six seconds, you know, which is definitely not enough. Okay, not bad. Oops. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not using a webcam uh, this time. It's just for this, uh, just for today, actually. We're back with the webcam in the next few, uh, in the by tomorrow, actually, not in today's videos. Here we go, two stacks again, one dude. Let's finish this off. I think uh, with John Constantine, I'm going to use this team as already done. So the next team that I'm going to use is going to be uh, Batwoman in the ground, which will be against uh, Swamp Thing. And then after that, uh, I'll, I'll also promote my Twin Blade actually to level 7 from level 6, right? So that will be interesting for that. I need to defeat uh, Swamp Thing, but this fight... Is going to be close. Okay, 40 seconds. Come on, dude. Let's get this done. The reason why it's taking a long time is because of the crit resistance that Dr. Fate has. Just 10 seconds now. Alright, this should be it. <laughs> nice. Alright, it was it was close, no doubt about that. But as I always say, what matters the most is that you know we finish off the fight, and that's what happened over here. We finished it off. Okay. All right, so it's Swamp Thing now. It's he's not having a lot of health, but the only issue is that there is increased defense. The tag in time is longer. Plus there is resilient. Plus he's iron skinned. So a ton of modifiers, uh, which will help him to live longer in this fight. So let's start the hazard. And let's bring in. I had to use dark metal cards over here. Otherwise, this there was no way I could have finished this off. I, I use dark metal cards. Now, I'm going to get some uh, stacks for the crown.
All right, there we go. That's it. Five times the damage. I just need one more hit and we'll have the full stacks. Nice. Time to put that Dark Metal cards to good use over here. Okay, come on, almost done. Here we go. At the moment, she tagged in. She did a 20 million uh, damage on that hazard DOT, which was enough to take down or Swamp Thing. 266 million is not much. But now, time to go one on one with the main boss, boss John Constantine. And no better team to go against John Constantine than this Beast Boy, Martian Manhunter, and Black Manta. Beast Boy, obviously, with, uh, you know, Zatanna's Puppet, the best artifact to use, but just have to be careful over here. We can uh, do a one-shot, uh, but yeah, we have to be careful because uh, the health will not be that much. You should always keep the first curse on. If your first curse is on, that means even if your character dies, they will revive back. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Keep doing specials. In order to maintain that first curse, which you can see on the left side, right next to Martian Man, under that there is a timer that is running quite fast. But every time you do a special, it resets, and it's written one over there, which means that's the first curse. And if you die, uh, and that the first curse timer is not out, then you will revive back. There we go. Manta tagged in. You know, I don't remember from how long I'm actually using Manta without gears. I don't use him a lot, uh, so I, I don't really use him as a damage dealer, which is why you see me not putting any gears on him. There we go, 40 hits. Come on, Beast Boy. Your magic. Twenty-seven mil, not bad. Yes, and I did upgrade my uh, twin blade to level seven, which means increased their uh, passive health and passive attack through the solar rate artifact. Okay, so the common meter is gone now. But I guess we have already done the damage, enough damage. Even if I keep spamming these special threes, I'll still finish them off. But let's do some combo meter. Let's do some hits. Increase the combo meter. Alright, not bad. And almost down. He was super easy, guys. You know, he didn't really take a uh, extra efforts to finish John Constantine. Uh, let's see uh, if we get something good, maybe uh, maybe a John Constantine himself in the rewards. Right, fly away. Hold down. Good. All right, another twin blade. I already have like 18k resources. I mean, 18k gear, uh, artifact, brain material for uh, the twin blade. The infernal artifact material. Now I got... Uh, I will get some more when I shatter that uh, uh, twin blade that I got. Oh, okay. Rewards not as expected. They are never really good until and unless you are super lucky. All right, moving on. Batman. Yeah, so there there was actually one more thing uh, that I had to mention over here is that uh, the chest review that I did, I kind of missed on something, which were the gems, actually. 
uh, you know, so they were James. They never ever added James. So there was like a bit of a, uh, you know, thing that happened, and I kind of forgot. Not forgot actually. Just did not. I just did not see that. I just did not read it. Uh, could happen to anyone. But uh, yeah, you know, that review of that particular chest completely changes. Uh, but yeah, you know, having 300 and extra 375 gems, 375, yes, that's what the amount was. Having that kind of gems, it really won't make that chest, uh, it will make a little bit better because, uh, you know, you will be hitting those 11%. If you hit those 11% chances, you will get, uh, those gems, which you can in turn use to get, uh, to open more chests. But overall... It doesn't increase the chances you know the chances are going to remain the same like which is seven percent for a random completely random legendary drop which again for me is going to be a big risk if you are a risk taker like i said in the previous video go for it if not uh just save your gems maybe you open something else something that you need Zatanna, mr freeze or maybe black adam or maybe wait for someone like raven a beginner a player who has just started playing maybe open the LOA chest you know instead of these chests that we have so still doesn't make that chest super good it is it is decent now or a little less than decent <laughs> yeah but still not good Right, the percentage damage. It's Rogue doing his job perfectly over here. Oh no. The moment I said he's doing his job perfectly, he messes up. Alright, did not die as expected. Uh, but you know what, guys? Uh, using uh, two solar raid artifacts on tier 1 actually gives your uh, clones extra health. You know, your clones won't die quickly. Which is why I think maybe this main character will take a little time to die, but the clones will not die quickly. I gotta get uh, Batman in the corner. Right, nice, good job. So Power Girl's passive unfortunately does not work on the clones. I mean we cannot we do not get reduced power cost for the clones. Otherwise this would have been an insane team to use. But it does save a lot of time initially, you know, when, when I do a lot of special tools real quick with the main dead stroke. It's just that it cannot be used on the clones. It doesn't apply to the clones. Right, so it's done. He's no special too. Oh no. The AI getting smarter day by day. Thankfully he's not having enough. Yeah, he'll do a special one. One. Gotta do a couple more at least. One more. Yep, and that is time over. All right, uh, not bad actually. Let's see the damage numbers. Almost one point four billion. Almost not bad. Batman. Zatanna. Robin. 
Right, so let's finish off. Batman should not be a big of a deal over here. It's just 554 million. Uh, we have done way more than this, obviously. Right, come on. Now we have enough power. There we go. Come on. Keep doing it. There is no power to steal over here. Okay, so we're gonna go back, keep spamming these special ones. Two twenty four, two thirty five. Come on, two seventy seven. Almost there. Three hundred. Yep. There we go. So he he actually has increased DOT resistance. But uh, that's not going to stop us because this is not DOT, this is Hazard DOT that we're doing. Right, that was important. Now exactly a minute left. Alright, just gotta spam these special ones. Come on. Damage is increased, no doubt about that. Game lagged a little bit, so we're back. there we go nice and easy victory again all right guys so i guess that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching and you guys have a great day Bye bye